guys, I'm Jess, and today on Beepop, I'm going to try a new face mask from Last Tookie. It is a soft clay glow mask, and it's pink. How awesome is that? This is a box it comes in. Um, it has tons of really good stuff in it, and it says it's supposed to improve on elasticity, and if your skin is looking rough, like it's supposed to help with that as well. And then it just says, after cleansing, apply a generous amount and smooth over specific areas of concern. Avoid eye and lip areas. After application, wait five to 10 minutes and rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. You can use this once or twice a week. That's pretty much, see it has like tons of good ingredients in it. For the glow effect, fish collagen. <laughs> Amazon clay, spring water. So let's get this out of here. I did order this on Amazon. It's $15.99, I believe and um, it came really really fast this is what it looks like it is a glass jar so it's like really nice and the lid comes off like this i did already open this bit because i wanted to smell it so i thought i did it smells very floral it's really pretty i hope it's not it's pretty thick too so i'm gonna use what's left on here to like apply to my face I have this headband thing from Tw Forever 21. If you guys want to know where that's from. Works pretty well. It's pretty thick though. And I just have this like scoop thing. So I'm gonna use that to like put it on my face. Ooh, it's pretty. I'm just gonna like put it all over my face. It is really easy to like spread it around. So like that's always a good sign. <laughs> and it is really full too. Like they didn't skip on any product, that's for sure. And you can just put it on certain areas, but I'm just gonna like go for it. <laughs> Since this is a review, might as well just do your whole face. Ooh, piece of hair, piece of hair. Ah, ooh, got on my hand. Got on my hand. The smell is like the scent of it is a bit strong for me. It'll probably dissipate while it's like drying. That's what my face looks like. My face almost matches my headband which is awesome. And I also really love the color of it because it's like a smoky purple when actually on your skin. At least I think it does under the slights and stuff. But I did a pretty thin layer and this thing worked really, really well. It was very, very useful. <laughs> I don't even know where I got this from, but a brush would also work really well too if you have a just a face mask brush you wanna use. The smell's pretty overwhelming right now because it's right by my nose. <laughs> but I'm hoping that will go away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit for 10 minutes on my skin and then I'll be back and show you what it looks like after it sets and then I'll go rinse it off and then come back and show you what my face looks like. So it's been a little over 10 minutes and I don't think it's all dry yet. Um, down here where I just put a thinner layer, it's definitely more dry and it does feel like super, super tight around my mouth and stuff. I still can smell the floral scent, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't really like super floral or stuff that smells this harsh on my skin because my skin is super sensitive, so I'll just have to see how my skin reacts after I take this off. I don't know if I should keep it on just a little longer to see if this kind of can dry up a little bit more or just next time I'll put on a thinner layer because I put on a little thicker layer like on my cheeks and stuff. it feels like funny like you can see how it's like super attached to my skin <laughs> look at the wrinkles but i love the color of it it's a really pretty color <laughs> and yeah like that's still wet so i might just leave it on for a few more minutes and then i'm just gonna use warm water to wash it off and kind of just like a maybe just use a washcloth to kind of help me get it off because water alone will probably take me a while to get this off I'll just see how it goes and I'll report back. But this is what it looks like. Really, really tight. It's definitely doing something. It's doing stuff. I'm back. 
No, I'm just kidding. That was creepy. <laughs> so I washed off. I basically just washed it off with warm water and it seemed to work really well. I did use a little um, washcloth to kind of help get it off because water alone takes a while to get stuff off and I'm not that patient of a person. So my skin, oh, I missed a spot right there. So my skin looks really, really good. It feels really soft as well. I do have a little bit of redness going on. Um, like right there and right there, just a little bit. It might be because it's a new product, you know? Or it may be because of the fragrance of it. I don't know, like normally I use stuff that doesn't have a scent to it because my face doesn't like fragrances that much. It looks really good. It feels really soft. My pores don't look as big as they were before. But yeah, I really liked it. I thought it worked really, really well. Uh, it definitely stayed in my face, unlike some other masks that just kind of like slide off your face after a while <laughs> that aren't like thick enough consistency. I really like that this is like a super thick consistency and it stayed on my face really well. The only thing I didn't like about it is the fragrance. It's kind of overwhelming. It is very floral. I know that's like a big thing for some people because some people have really bad reactions to fragrances. So I just want to make sure I put that out there that it does have a fragrance. Um, the packaging's really nice, like super fancy glass packaging for sure. And it definitely looks more expensive than it is for $15.99. I'd probably think this was like $30 actually. They do have, I think they also have a charcoal mask, but I just went for the glow mask instead because who doesn't want to glow? Yeah, that's pretty much my whole review of this. Um, I'm definitely going to use it a few more times and see how my skin reacts because the first time you use something isn't always going to be the best. <laughs> Your skin has to get used to it, but I really like it. I think it looked really good and it was easy to get off and it's, my skin feels tight, but it doesn't, like I don't feel like I need to go and rush and put a moisturizer on, if you know what I mean. And I do have pretty normal skin whenever it's like super, super hot out, like 100 degrees, I will get a little bit more oily, but, and then also on the flip side, if it's like negative five out, because that happens here in the Midwest, um, my skin will be a little bit more dry, so it just kind of depends on the temperatures outside, but normally, most of the time, it is normal, like, not super oily, not super dry. I don't really get dry patches that often, and I don't get a whole lot of acne anymore. Thank the gods. Um, that's what I'm working with for my skin type. I'm sure you probably wanted to know that. If you are maybe interested in checking this product out, I will also link this up down below if you want to read more or see the charcoal one as well because they had two different kinds of masks. That's pretty much it. If you guys like face mask skincare videos, make sure and give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a new video. You can find me here on social media and check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos and click that button below to subscribe. Bye guys. Bye.